Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing a haul video with you guys and most of these products today I picked up from Ulta Beauty and some of the other things I ended up getting at Walmart and then I got one thing from Target and then I also got to hang out with one of my girlfriends, April. She also has a YouTube channel which her channel, I'm sorry. There's like somebody with a motorcycle and they were like revving it and I felt like I was trying to like talk over how loud it was. Okay. We'll just give them a moment. <laughs> like it almost sounds like a chainsaw, but I know it's not. Okay, so hopefully I won't get interrupted again. Um. But like I was saying, April, her beauty channel is Wanna Makeup. I'm sure many of you guys know who April is. She also lives in Kentucky. So we get together, have girl time, like do some major shopping, looking at, you know, all kinds of different makeup. So she had decluttered some stuff from her collection. And so she gave me this little bag of goodies. And this little bag is so cute. It's like a little Ulta bag. But we do this with for each other like per periodically like when we go through our collection and declutter things if there's things that we're decluttering that we think that the other person would like to try out like if i know april would probably like something that i'm getting rid of i'll save it for her and then i'll give it to her for her to try out so that's what she did for me and I think that is just so sweet. It's just so nice whenever you have other friends that are really into makeup and you can just do things like this for each other. So I really do appreciate that so much, April. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys today what she gifted to me, what I picked up at Ulta and Target and Walmart. So first, let's go ahead, like I said, and dive into the stuff that I got at Ulta. So at Ulta... I was just looking around. There was a few things that I did want to pick up. Like I was on the hunt to find more of these All May Velvet Foil Cream Shadows. Because like I told you guys in my All May One Brand Makeup Tutorial, I have fallen in love with Cupid Glaze and also the color in End Game. And I wanted to see what other lighter kind of everyday colors that they had in these foil, these um, Velvet Foil Eyeshadows, Cream Shadows. And I knew that Ulta, like at least Ulta Online, had these. So whenever we went to Ulta, I was looking and I found them. And these two were like the other lighter shades that they had. They had another like really pretty kind of khaki green. I can't remember what that color was called, but I might be going back to pick that up at some point. But I ended up getting Golden Vibes and Astro Girl which golden vibes is what I have on my eyelids today. It's just a really pretty beige gold. And with these cream shadows, you don't need much of them at all. Like a little bit goes a long way. They last all day long, like they're 24 hour wear eyeshadow. And I definitely feel that they are. That color is just so pretty. It's just a really beautiful beige gold or like a champagne gold. And then this other one, an Astro Girl. I have not used this one yet, so I don't really know, you know, how it's gonna look on the lids. It's more of a white kind of color. I feel like this would give you that really nice, like glossy eyelid look. Cause like, as you can see, when I turn my hand that way, you don't really notice it. But then when the light catches it, it just looks like my hand is wet right there. So I'm definitely curious to try Astro Girl out because I feel like that is just going to be such a pretty color. I'm just going to put those over there with my other All May Cream shadows. This shadow here, April was like, you have to get this. This thing is gorgeous. And this is what she had on her eyelids. This is one of the Essence Melted Chrome shadows. And I don't know if these are new or not. I'm thinking that they are because I have never like noticed these before. This thing is absolutely stunning. It's like a taupey purple with like a bunch of like little glitters and shimmers in it. It just looked gorgeous on her eyelids. And like that evening, whenever we were outside, like whenever we left Ulta, we were standing outside talking and like just like the lights outside, like the night, like, you know, not street lights, but the lights that they have there in the parking lot. Like it just made her eyeshadow just look so shimmery and beautiful. 
Um, so yeah, it's just a really pretty like taupe purple. I don't know. So I cannot wait to use this. I think I'm going to put this in my April shop mustache so I can do a video with it for you guys, like an eyeshadow like look featuring that. And the other colors that they had at Ulta, at least at my Ulta, they had like a silver kind of gray and maybe like a purple, like a more intense purple than this. This is more of like a wearable taupe purple. So I'll have to like look online to see if they have some other ones that are like more wearable kind of everyday colors that I know I would wear. So, cause yeah, this is just so pretty. I think April may have stumbled across these and she was telling me, I think that she had, she already has this one. So she was wanting to get the lighter one, but this is in O2 Sunkissed. And this is their silky matte bronzer. And I thought that this would be like a good contour slash bronzer because it's a little bit more cool toned than it is warm toned. But it's not like a reddish undertone. It's just like a cool toned bronzer. So that is the bronzer I am wearing today. And I feel like Oh God, <laughs> about dropped it. Well, I did drop it, drop it, but it's okay. <laughs> um, but it does, it doesn't look too cool toned. Um, I don't know. I just feel like it looks nice as like a contour slash bronzer. So yeah, I do like this. I might go back and get the lighter one just so I can have like one for a bronzer instead of like bronzer contour. And then um, whenever I was getting the little shadow from Essence, they had a buy one, get one 50% off. And so I was looking at some of their other stuff and I decided to try out their Essence Glow to Go Illuminating Setting Spray. And I used this for the first time today. And I don't know, I'm gonna have to use, a use this a little bit more because with this setting spray, it does have like little, like not really glitters, but it does have like some sheen, some shimmer in it, but it doesn't look like glitter. Um, but sometimes when you go to spray it, it almost like spits and it doesn't come out right. And then you have like these little droplets of the product. So, and then you have to kind of go back with your sponge to blend that out. So I'll have to use that setting spray a little bit more, but it definitely gives you like a luminous finish. So if the sprayer works nice or you just kind of like, you know, blend it out a little bit with your sponge, I think it'll work just fine. So yeah, I used this for the first time today and so far I do like it and I feel like I look dewy and glowy. April mentioned this concealer in one of her get ready with me's. It was like her no makeup or her go-to, yeah, her go-to like no makeup makeup look. And she used this concealer in that tutorial and she said that it had more of like a semi-matte finish, like it wasn't super matte. So I wanted to give this a try cause I'm always on the hunt to find a good concealer that will last on my under eye area, but that does not look dry and, you know, age my under eyes. I want something that's gonna look hydrating and illuminating, but not crease. So I thought I would give this concealer a try. Um, I mean, I feel like when I first put it on, well, I do see a little bit of a satin finish to it. It's not like super, super dewy, but it's not completely matte. So I'll have to try this in a video. This is in the color 010 Vanilla. And it has like a little, it has an interesting doe foot applicator, like where it's kind of round on the end. And then it comes in like a squeezy tube, which will be nice when you get down to the end and you're like, you know, squeezing the last bit of the product out. So I am interested to try that out. And then I picked up another one of my Maybelline Lash Sensational mascaras because this is my Holy Grail mascara and I was missing it. So I went ahead and picked another one of those up. And then we were looking at some of the Morphe stuff and April was telling me, which I've heard her mention this on her channel several times, but this Morphe lipstick in Four Evs is her all-time favorite, like one of her all-time favorite lipsticks or like her current favorite right now. Looks like a beautiful mauve, like something that I would wear all the time. So I picked that up and while I was looking at those lipsticks, the lipstick next to that one was in the color Shady. And this lipstick reminded me so much of the Maybelline Color Sensational Lipstick in Cinnamon, 
which you guys know if you've been following me for a little bit that that was like my holy grail everyday nude lipstick but it has been discontinued so I ended up getting this because it looks so similar to that lipstick and I'm wearing shady today on my lips and I definitely feel like this is a good dupe to cinnamon so if you loved that lipstick and you miss it you have to get this uh, Morphe lipstick in Shady because it's definitely a good dupe. Okay, so then, like I said, we went to we went to TJ Maxx after um, Ulta, but I ended up not getting anything from TJ Maxx, and then we went to Target. And while at Target, I was just looking around at different things. Like I looked at Profusion. I thought about maybe getting like a Profusion, like another Profusion highlight and contour palette because I love my other one so much that I got at Christmas time. But I ended up talking myself out of that palette. Um, I'm gonna wipe these swatches off real quick because I'm afraid I'm gonna get them on everything. So while we were looking at the makeup, we went over to the Wet n Wild section. And then I saw that they had the Wet n Wild, like their new makeup sponges. And I have been so curious to try these Wet n Wild makeup sponges out. So I bought this one. I think this is the only one that they make right now. It's just, it kind of is shaped like the Beauty Blender, except for it's flat right here. And I used this to apply my foundation today and I loved it. It's very soft and squishy. It's softer than the Real Technique sponge. Like it reminds me of like, the L'Oreal Infallible Makeup Sponge or the Flower Beauty or it might not be quite as squishy as like the Beauty Blender but it feels pretty close to that and this is like the packaging that it came in so cute it's got like a little bunny on it so yeah so far I am really impressed by that by this makeup sponge it's really nice and then after Target we ended up going to Walmart because we were on the hunt to find some flower beauty products and I wanted to get the flower beauty the light illusion concealer which I ended up picking up and I also wanted to get the light illusion foundation because I've had several of you guys ask me if I would get these and try them out and I've also had several of you guys tell me that I needed to get these because you all love them and you all know how much I love illuminating products um, so yeah, I use these. I didn't use this for the first time because April, one time whenever she came over and we filmed some videos together, like we did a get ready with us, I used her Flower Beauty concealer like this. And at first I loved it, but I felt like by the end of the video it had creased a lot. But she told me whenever she went back to edit the footage that I had applied a ton of this concealer. So she was like, I think you just applied too much. Buy it again or just buy it and try it and I think you might like it better. That's what she told me. So, so far like I used it today and my mascara is kind of smudging a little bit underneath but I like the way that the concealer looks. Like I haven't had hardly any issues with it creasing. Like it kind of creased just slightly a little bit right there, but I just put a little bit of powder and it seems to be fine. And then with the foundation, I was trying to figure out what shade I needed, but I ended up getting Porcelain L1. And I feel like that shade looks okay for me. It's a super illuminating foundation. Like it looks so beautiful on the skin. So I cannot wait to test these products out a little bit more and let you know my full thoughts on them. Cause this is the very first time I have used the foundation today and like the second time that I've used the concealer. So yeah, I'll keep you guys posted on those. So those were all the things that I purchased with my own money. And now I'm going to move on to the little goodies that April got me. And I think honestly, she gave me more products than what I ended up buying. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and share what she gave me. Okay, so this first little thing on top is one of the Agave Lip Masks from Bite Beauty. And I used this for the first time today and I really, really liked this. It was super hydrating. It reminds me so much of my Emile Cordon Cashmere Lip Pot. And I know that this is kind of like a little sample, I think, um, in this Cashmere Lip Pot. It has a lot of product in there. Um, I'll have to look at the price difference on these because I know that my Emile Cordon 
a lip cashmere lip pot even though I do really like this it is kind of pricey for this tub so I might look at the prices on these and see what is the better deal plus I know bite beauty is definitely a lot more accessible than this product um, even though I do enjoy that but yeah so she gifted that to me um, she gifted this Catrice Prime and Fine eyeshadow base. She said this was super moisturizing, and she said she did like this. I think she said she liked it, but she said that they discontinued it. So I will be using this. I'll see what I think about it. But she was, you know, I guess she wanted to declutter it since they didn't, since they don't sell it anymore. And I don't know. She may have told me that it creased on her. I don't remember. But I have yet to use this. I haven't used it yet. And then she gave me, I'm not going to say she gave me every time because that's going to get annoying, but the Revlon, the Revlon, <laughs> the Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palette. This is the Fortune Favors the Brave. And this was like a, this was a collab with the British beauty blogger. And I don't know if they still sell this palette or not, or if it was just limited edition, but I used this for the first time today. Um, and I really liked this. Sorry, I was just trying to like not blind you guys by the mirror. But yeah, I feel like this is a really pretty everyday sort of palette, even though it does have pops of color in there. This Paracone MD No Lipstick Lipstick. She said that she liked the formula on this, but she didn't like the color on her. Like it got to, like she said the color changed kind of strange. She didn't like the way it looked on her. So I'll have to test this out and see what I think about it. I feel like it kind of had a little bit of a weird smell. I mean, I feel like swatched on my hand, it looks like a really pretty color. So I'm definitely gonna test this out. It's crazy that it comes in such a huge box for this lipstick, I don't know. Anastasia Lip Gloss in, I think this is in Saint Tropez. Yeah, Saint Tropez or Saint Tropez. Um, it's like a, pink with gold glitters in it. Yeah, I'll have to try this out. This pink might be a little too pink for me, for my liking, which is probably why she ended up decluttering this. It was probably like too pink for her. Okay, this other blush, which I love. I use it for the first time today. This is an e.l.f. blush in Always Cheeky. So pretty. I don't know if they still sell this or not, but beautiful. If they do, I'll definitely link all these products down below if, you know, they're still sold. But this is such a pretty, like, peachy, pinky color. I don't know. I really liked it. And it feels so silky and smooth. And it's a matte blush. So I'm not sure why she decluttered this. She didn't tell me. So, um... I feel like we were talking about the makeup like at a stoplight she was like telling me like why she was given like why she would decluttered some of this stuff but then the light changed and then we were at the restaurant and then you know the whole night started unfolding um this palette here this is a Lancome palette and it has like two blushes a highlight and like a bronzer and she said that the highlight in this is really beautiful but that I might need a little bit more of a tan to be able to pull this off but yeah, I can see what she's saying. I definitely would need more of a tan to wear this. Either that or it might make a really pretty eyeshadow. And then I feel like the blush colors I could probably wear, especially if I use the light hand. One's like a peachy color, one's like a pink. They seem a little powdery at first. That's what they look like. Actually, they look really similar to like the same kind of color. And then that bronzer in this palette looked like it might be like a shimmery sort of bronzer, more of a highlight. Well, actually, it is matte. It looks like it would have shimmer in it when you see it. That's what it looks like there. It looks like a very warm-toned bronzer, so that might be a little too orangey for me, but I'll have to test it out and see. This other Pixie blush, and this is in the color Glowy Powder Rome Rose. And this looks kind of like a NARS Orgasm sort of blush. This is like one of those blushes, I think like where the lid twists off, and I feel like it's so hard to twist the lid off. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Go ahead and swatch this and see what it looks like. But yeah, it definitely looks kind of like NARS Orgasm, but maybe a little bit more pink than Coral. 
I bet that would go really nice with the Skip the Gym lipstick from Aume. Like I bet these would pair perfectly. Skip the Gym might actually be a little bit more peachy, but I feel like those paired together would be so pretty. And I haven't used any pixie blushes before, so I'm definitely interested to try that out. Okay, she also gifted these two Paul and Joe blushes. I don't know what the shades are on these. They might say on the back. Okay, this one is in eight. It's more of like a red kind of pink color. Okay, that looks really pretty. So that's cute. She knows how much I love cats, so. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's what those two blush colors look like. First Day Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. This is the Honeysuckle Natural Infusion. So it smells kind of like honeysuckle, which I used this today, and I feel like this smells more like a lemon sort of smell, like a citrus smell. Yeah, it has like, well, I can get kind of like the undertone of honeysuckle, but it also has a citrus smell, and I really liked it. I love the Ultra Repair Cream. You guys know how much I love this, so definitely feel grateful that she gifted that to me. I love that so much. Um, she gave me a little sample of the First Light Priming Filter from Becca, which I have the full size in this, and she knows how much I love this. Like, I mean, as you can tell, I've like used over half of it, or at least half of it. So she gifted this little one to me. A little baby one it'd be perfect for like traveling <laughs> this lipstick from ColourPop, which is what's your sign which i don't know was this part of like the kathleen lights like color pop like her zodiac collection one of her zodiac collections i'm not sure so it's like a warm toned nude so I'll have to wear this. Sometimes these warm tone nudes I really like and other times I feel like they're too warm toned for me. But I'm definitely curious to try this out because I have yet to use any ColourPop lipstick. And I hear so many people rave about ColourPop lipsticks. And the packaging on this feels really nice. It feels, it's probably not metal, but it feels like a substantial like plastic, you know. I think the bottom part might be metal and then this top part is like a plastic, but it's like a nice um, lipstick container. And then the last thing that she gifted to me is the Donna Kieran Cashmere, I always feel like I pronounced that wrong, <laughs> Cashmere Mist Deodorant. And I love this deodorant. There was like a time where when I first bought it, I didn't like it, but it was like the more I used it, the more I fell in love with it. Yeah. I just love it. So I guess she didn't like this, so she decided to give it to me. Um, this would also be really good for traveling, which I'm going on a trip in April, so I can like save it for my trip. Thank you so much, April, for gifting all these goodies to me. I feel so blessed that you gave me all those products that you decluttered or that you thought I might like that you just didn't like as much. I really appreciate it so much. I had so much fun hanging out with you and having girl time. It was just a blast. And I hope that you guys enjoyed all the other stuff that I ended up purchasing. If you guys do enjoy haul videos, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up so I know to keep filming haul videos for you guys. And if you are new or if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Make sure that you hit that notification bell that you turn on your notifications so you will know as soon as I post a new video. But I hope that you guys have a great day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.